Good morning, Wesley. Well, uh, greetings to you, Don. Here to talk with you today about one of the biggest questions our sales guys receive, and that's uh, how much sulfur do I need to apply to my crops, specifically in corn? That's a very popular question, Don, and be glad to attempt to answer that for you. And, uh, you know, now that we're in the fall, we're approaching harvest season, and uh, one of the uh, popular angles to that question is how much to apply. Well, most fertility recommendations are based upon crop removal. Sulfur in the sulfate form is leachable. If you get excess water, that sulfate will move out of the rooting zone. And when we talk about crop removal, we're talking about just the amount of sulfur that's removed when we harvest the grain. Generally, that's less than half what the total crop needs throughout the growing season. And combine that with the fact that, uh, here again, yes, when we harvest, the uh, residue from the corn goes back to the soil, it decomposes and, and recycles, and some sulfur will be available from that. But it's very difficult to predict, much like the nitrogen, uh, release process. So with that I prefer to talk about total crop uptake. Okay. That uptake is is approximately 0 0.18 pounds of sulfur per harvested bushel. The USDA estimate for yield this year is about 170 bushels per acre. Well 170 bushels times that conversion factor is approximately 30 pounds of sulfur. And that's higher than what most people tend to apply uh, to their corn crop. So with that, I prefer to apply 30 pounds of actual. That's going to be about 33, 34 pounds of our Tiger 90 product. Now, as we enter the harvest season, we can follow apply, mix our product, blend it in with your phosphate and your potash products, and apply that in the fall. Since it's elemental sulfur based, we depend upon oxidation take place by microbes in the soil. And those microbes are only most active when the temp soil temperature is above that 60, 65 degree range. So in the fall, that temperature is generally lower than that, so we don't get the oxidation take place, which enhances the, the functionality of our product going through the winter months, and it stays there similar to what your phosphate and your potash does. So with that, I hope that answers your question, Don. That does. Thank you for answering that question for us. And if you have additional questions, please visit our website at tigersaw.com or give your regional account manager a, a call, and we'll be glad to help you. Have a good day. Thanks, and good day as well.